today we'll make an easy coffee Christmas themed box for keep watching. All right, we're going to start off with me recycling this fall project that I did. Just going to begin to take this apart. You can get these little box signs pretty much at any craft store. You can also get them at the Dollar Tree, which would bring your price down. I want to be sure to save the items that I'm taking off of here, or as much of it as I can, and put that back for projects that I might need for next year going to save money by doing this. Going to do any cleanup that I need to do. That just pops out easy. Just a couple little dots of glue in the corner is the only thing that held it down. Okay, so next we're going to choose the background paper that we want. And I like this black and white checkered. And it came from a pack that came originally from Target. I think this black and white check is going to be a popular pattern for Christmas. It seems to be in the craft stores and a lot of decor. So this box happens to be a 5x5 five five square. You can choose whatever size that you want. Be sure that your paper is going to fit inside of the box. You can also paint the box if you like. But I like the natural color because I have a rustic farmhouse look in my house and so I want to carry that through at holiday time as well and I'm going to trim my paper down to five by five just measuring it against two rollers And if you are wondering why in the world I'm doing a Christmas craft or a Christmas series in the middle of October, it's because there is a, a need for people to get their crafts done early and to pace themselves, to find their items and buy them at a good price so that they can make it budget friendly. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to help out those who need a little more time to get their projects done. Right, so a little double stick tape and I'm going to just put it down in the box. Make sure that I press down so it doesn't fall out. And the next thing is to pick an ornament that you want to use in the middle. These are all Dollar Tree ornaments, so I wanted to show you the choices and what you might could use. I even have some glittery um, clothespins that I've had forever. But this one came from Target last year probably I got it from dirt cheap it's a little coffee cup a to-go coffee cup I'm gonna cut the hanger off of it and place it in the box and it does fit there but I want to have it elevated so I am going to take a block this comes from the stacking blocks out of the toy section at Dollar Tree um, I think the brand name is Jenga but they're not called that they're tower blocks or something that at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to glue that down on the back and then I'm going to make a little bow with some thin ribbon to put on the top of that cup where that hole is. If you have an ornament that has a hole in the top and you need to fill it in you can use some putty, you can use some wood filler, you can use some spackling, and you can get some things like that at Dollar Tree. If you wish to make this a complete Dollar Tree project, you probably could. A lot of the items that I have were things that have been in my stash for a while, so having them already in my house, I don't have to include them in the final price of the things that I make so I've already saved money because most of the things that I buy they are thrifted or they are 70 80 90 percent off so I'm already at a great savings all right I'm just trimming down the bow gonna use some hot glue and put it on there and then put the smaller bow right on top 
and I will cut those pieces down but you can leave them longer or you know you can cut them down whichever way suits your fancy the important thing about these these designs are that you want to make them your own that's the name of my channel making it my own and I want you to make it your own do what makes you happy you don't have to copy what I'm doing just use it as a, a blueprint maybe to go by get some inspiration from it and then get what you like and use that use what matches in your house what brings you joy what makes that child inside of you happy I mean it's Christmas after all so you know do what makes you happy so now I have my cup ready and I've decided that I want to put some trim on here so I'm going to use some of this that I got from the thrift store I got a bag of it and it's in I have it in a couple of different sizes I was trying to decide whether I wanted it on the inside of the box or the out, but I think it looks so cute on the outer edge of the box. It's just cute. I like it. The whole thing just kind of reminds me of a cafe with the brown and the checkerboard in the background and the red cup and then the little, the pom-pom garland. I think it just looks cute. This would probably be cute in a vintage Christmas as well. So I'm going to place it down there with some hot glue. You can put it in the center or you can put it where the cup is sitting on the bottom. I've just got mine elevated a little bit. Then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue to attach the corners on here. You can use anything that you want. You don't have to use trim at all or you could use trim. You could use a sticker trim or border. You could use any type of ribbon that you wanted to use. You could use jingle bells on a garland if you wanted. Any way that makes you happy. That's what you want to do. We want these pieces to bring us joy. And that's really all it is to it. If you like these kind of crafts and saving money making these pieces of decor, then be sure that you subscribe and share this with someone that you think would enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying Christmas already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.